Kay Bailey Hutchison. Uh, Senator, always good to see you. Thank you, Rick. What's happening to the party of Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan? Are you worried and what are your plans? Of course we're worried. I think we would have to be ostriches with our heads in the sand <laughs> if we weren't worried. Um, we need to look at ourselves thoroughly, inside out. And anyone who is whistling past the graveyard saying, oh, we need to do exactly what we're doing, we're right by God, is wrong. You cannot do that. You have to assess either your message is wrong or the message that the way you're putting it is wrong and uh, of course we stand for principles we stand for uh, very important uh, unifying uh, principles so you need to you need to be more inclusive do you, do you feel like I mean I know inclusive is one of those words I, you know I, I'm getting a lot of press for being hard on Senator DeMitt which I didn't mean to when he was saying we want to become the big tent or we are the big tent of freedom and that's one of those generalistic words and people go what but Inclusiveness is something you kind of got to shoot for if you can come up with some kind of strategy to get those people who normally don't vote for you. What would that strategy be? Well, I think we have to determine what are the unifying principles to be a Republican, and then what are areas where we are going to disagree because of a regionalism or uh, representing our own states or uh, perhaps a difference in philosophy uh, on an issue that isn't a core principle but is something that we could hmm. agree that maybe if someone differs on that issue they are still welcome into the Republican Party. So do you agree when our, when Arlen Specter says the problem for me running as a Republican and look let, let's be honest about this Arlen Specter looked like he was gonna get his fanny handed to him uh, and that's uh, the underlying real reason he left we, we, we all get that but he did say some things that were interesting about purification. He said that, and, and I can't wait to get your take on this, that some people are trying to purify the party so much that the litmus test is so difficult that when the person comes out the other end, there's no way he can be accepted by the party. Is, is that too stringent, do you think, Senator? I think that it is too stringent if we are saying that you have to agree with a Republican uh, platform or a Republican other senator on every single issue. Uh, we can differ on issues l like, um, you know, a, a social issue, an mm -hmm. education issue, uh, a better approach issue, healthcare access, cancer. Uh, many of these issues we can differ, it, and maybe in a regional way there is a different take on it, but not on core principles and i think we have to establish what are the core principles that unify us uh, and, and i think it's pretty clear it is the economic issues it's uh, looking at the long term rather than just the expediency of the moment it is free enterprise it is small business we are a party that champions small business and we want the regulatory environment to accommodate small business to grow and create new jobs and have a healthy thriving economy that should be the center of our party then if there are other issues where we disagree we we ought to be able to accept people in the party and welcome them and that's what ronald reagan did even if even even if there's a, a disagreement th th those are strong and important words that you just shared uh, with uh, many of our viewers and I guess you know the best news out of all this if you are a person who is a Republican and wants to see this party come back which to a certain extent I think all Americans should whether Republicans or not is that these things are generally cyclical that you could look back in history and see times where both sides were way up and they thought the other party was doomed and somehow they come back both sides. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just an interesting caveat to well, share with when, you as we close out the conversation. It's yeah, when the parties go too far. That's when it starts turning back. Because Americans tend to live in the middle. Even if, even if there are news stations and radio shows who make it look like that 10% on the fringe is actually the middle, it's not true, and you and I know that. Uh, Senator K. Bailey Hutchinson, thanks so much for taking time to take us through this. Thank you, Rick. Good conversation. Thank you.